have come back. <laughs> Is this shitty thing? 200 years underwater. This is one of the 10 cast iron cannons on James Cook, James Cook's ship, the Endeavour. Koe ne tahionga pure potako no runga ite kai poke o ka pene kuki te Endeavour. How interesting. Where was that noise coming from? Look. Oh. There's always people pretending to sing. First day being thrown overboard along with five other guns and casks, hopes, staves, oil jars, decayed stores and iron and stone ballast. That's not a Māori. That's not very much Māori. Why? The endeavour was struck on a sunken reef. Period. The idea was that without all the heavy stuff, the ship would float higher in the water and thus sail free. It worked. Where? On the Great Barrier Reef, Australia, on the 11th of June, 1770, at a spot named Endeavour Reef. Best day being found nearly 200 years later by an American team using an iron detector in four to six metres of water. Condition when found, covered in coral growths up to a metre thick. The cannon was presented to the people of New Zealand by the Australian Government on the 200th anniversary of Cook's first visit to this country in 1769 period. Joseph Banks, an English botanist who was on board, recalled the incident unclean colon. Period, period, period. But scarce were we warm in our beds when we were cold. It's so boring and dumb. Who gives a shit? Right, maybe not. We've got stuff down the beer and we're going down. I'm thirsty again. Isn't that fascinating? Oh. It's so, so fascinating. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. Most fascinating shit in the whole world. Blood Earth Fire Fungi Venema Ahika. So there's a fungi. This is a bit empty, really, isn't it? Uh oh. Fungal ass.